When it comes to getting elected President of the United States, height is a bigger factor than you may think. The average height of the men who held the nation's highest office is 5 feet 10 inches, roughly an inch taller than the average American male. That number seems to suggest the country's voters prefer a slightly taller than average president, but there have been plenty of outliers over the decades. According to Business Insider, America's tallest president has held that title for more than 150 years. Abraham Lincoln stood 6 feet and 4 inches tall, and that was before he donned his iconic 7 to 8 inch top hat. His stature was especially impressive during the Civil War, when the average height of the soldiers was around 5.64 inches. At the opposite end of the spectrum is James Madison. The fourth president measured a full foot shorter than Lincoln at 5 feet 4 inches. He was also the only president that was shorter than his first lady. Dolly Madison stood 3 inches over her husband at 5 feet 7 inches. Scientific research suggests that taller men and women are richer and more successful than short people. And while that's not true in every instance, it does explain why so many American presidents were taller than the average man. Business Insider reports that in general, human beings are biased to see tall people as more leader-like. They say it all goes back to caveman days, when strong, powerful-looking leaders were selected as the best chance for protecting a group. True or untrue, the propensity for choosing tall presidents has played out throughout our nation's history, and over time the average height for presidents has jumped from 5 feet 11 inches to 6 feet in the 21st century. Shortest Pires Identes Number 10. James Madison Height 5 feet 4 inches The father of the Constitution was also the shortest president in U.S. history. What Madison lacked in height, he made up for in his immense contributions to the early U.S. government. Not all American presidents were tall. In fact, some were downright short of stature. James Madison is notorious for being the shortest president in history and stood just 5 feet 4 inches tall. The so-called father of the Constitution wasn't just short, he was also thin, weighing just over 100 pounds. Madison was sickly and had a weak voice, which made it hard for crowds to hear him during speeches. The wife of a Virginia politician described Madison as the most unsociable creature in existence. Number 9. Benjamin Harrison Height 5 feet 6 inches Like his grandfather, Benjamin Harrison was one of the shortest U.S. presidents. He was also one of the most active campaigners, delivering 140 separate speeches over a 30-day period. Number 8. Martin Van Buren Height 5 feet 6 inches As an up-and-coming politician, Van Buren was nicknamed the Little Magician because of his short stature and smooth political dealings. As president, he earned the nickname Martin Van Ruin, which was less flattering. Number 7. William McKinley Height 5 feet 7 inches Widely considered to be a mediocre president, McKinley is often left in the shadow of his vice president and successor, Teddy Roosevelt. Number 6. John Adams Height 5 feet 7 inches Although Adams would be short by today's standards, he was closer to average during the time of his presidency. Number 5. John Quincy Adams Height 5 feet 7.5 inches John Quincy Adams barely edges out his father in terms of height by a mere half inch. Number 5. Ulysses Grant Height 5 feet 8 inches Grant may be one of the shortest presidents, but he was a formidable presence nonetheless, on the battlefield and in the White House. Number 3. Zachary Taylor Height 5 feet 8 inches Previously an Army General, Zachary Taylor would have been around average height for his time. However, he is still in the bottom 10 compared to other presidents. Number 2. James Knox Polk Height 5 feet 8 inches Polk was often called Napoleon of the Stump for his powerful speeches and fiery oratory. Like Napoleon, Polk was also relatively short. Number 1. William Henry Harrison Height 5 feet 8 inches Rounding out the 10 shortest presidents is William Henry Harrison, who tragically died in office after only one month. Talist Presidents Number 10. Ronald Reagan Height 6 feet 1 inch 
Reagan's height likely contributed to his success as a movie star before his career in politics. Number 9. Andrew Jackson. Height, 6 feet, 1 inch. A feared general and marksman, Jackson didn't need his above-average height to be seen as an imposing figure. Number 8. Bill Clinton. Height, 6 feet, 2 inches. Clinton ties with Bush for being the tallest living U.S. president. Number 7. George Herbert Walker Bush. Height, 6 feet, 2 inches. In terms of height, Bush falls between his two sons. Number 6. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Height, 6 feet, 2 inches. Before succumbing to polio in 1921, he was active in sports, playing football in high school and rowing in college. He was also a full four inches taller than his older cousin Teddy Roosevelt. Number 5. Chester Allen Arthur. Height, 6 feet, 2 inches. Chester Arthur might be the most forgotten president in U.S. history, but he was also one of the tallest. Number 4. George Washington. Height, 6 feet, 2 inches. Washington's height is especially impressive given the time period. The first president was taller than all the other founding fathers, with one key exception. Number 3. Thomas Jefferson. Height, 6 feet, 2.5 inches. Jefferson narrowly beats Washington in the height gain. Historians estimate that he was roughly 6 inches taller than the average male of the day. Number 2. Lyndon Baines Johnson. Height, 6 feet, 3.5 inches. LGA's large stature was complemented by a similarly big personality. The Texas-born president was sometimes referred to as Bull Johnson. Number 1. Abraham Lincoln. Height, 6 feet, 4 inches. Lincoln didn't need his top hat to appear tall. He was a naturally imposing figure, standing a full foot taller than the shortest president James Madison. There's no debating that America's 16th president was also the tallest in history. One journalist described Abraham Lincoln as having long pendulous arms and hands of extraordinary dimensions far exceeded in proportion by his feet. These descriptions inspire historians to question whether Lincoln suffered from Marfan syndrome, a genetic disorder that disrupts the connective tissue of the joints and causes lankiness. While this condition is treatable today, in Lincoln's time it contributed to his poor health, including cardiovascular issues and vision problems. The average height for presidents is roughly 5 feet, 11 inches, making Obama taller than average. Interestingly, the average height of U.S. males is currently 5 feet 9 inches, below the presidential average. Keep in mind that the average height in the U.S. has also increased over time. While height may seem like an irrelevant part of political success, studies have shown that taller candidates have historically been more successful in presidential elections. Does the extra confidence and self-esteem that comes with an imposing height also translate to a more successful presidency? That's all for today, see you in our next video, till then take care.